Last time on Missouri Motors, we replaced the actuator in my car, and I still have the old one, so today, we're going to take a look and see what's inside of these actuators. Welcome to Missouri Motors, my name is Bradley. And you may be wondering why I want to take apart one of these. Well, I get nosy and sometimes I wonder how things are designed, so we're going to take this one apart. And there's just a few clips that hold them on. You might be able to see them right here. But the thing is, though, instead of me trying to pry them off, I'm just going to take my screwdriver and break them off. I mean, this thing doesn't even work anymore, so it's completely useless. And with that said, I am going to go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver out of my own little toolbox right here. Alright, so let's get started. something else holding it in place? Oh yeah, there's two right here apparently. I didn't notice that until now. You gotta be careful too. I just want to let you guys know that if you are planning to reuse any parts, do not break the plastic clips off of them. I mean, once you break them off, they're not going to stay together. But because this actuator doesn't work, I'm not worried about putting it back together. I just want to get it apart to see what it looks like on the inside, which I think I finally managed to get it off. I don't know if this is the correct way or the wrong way. Alright. So there's some gears in here as you can see. Um, okay, so this is the gear with the output shaft on it, as you could probably tell. It's got the little shaft right there. So this sends the power out to the, the uh, blend door right here. So this is what sends the power out to the blend door. And then you got your little um, electric motor right here that will turn clockwise or counterclockwise to move this. And then this gear fits in between here. And as a matter of fact, it's got two gears, a small one and a big one. The big one connects to this small one right here, which has a big one right there. So it allows it to move back and forth. Now, this one is no longer good. However, it looks perfectly fine on the inside. It's kind of surprising because normally when you take these things apart, the gears are shredded in them. But the fact this one still looks okay is a miracle. So now you have a basic understanding of how this actuator works. It just has these plastic molded gears inside an electric motor, and all it does is it has the shaft connect to the blend door and allows the blend door to open and close. As always, please consider subscribing. Eventually, you're going to have in one of our videos this 1967 Chevy Chevelle.